Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make your powerful slide presentation using Google Slide right on your smartphone. Whether you are using iOS, Android or PC, all the steps are quite similar because you can find more features on the PC. So if you want more features, of course, you can work on the PC. But honestly speaking, I think on the smartphone is more than enough. Well, as you know, Microsoft PowerPoint was way more popular than the Google Slide in the past. Even me, I'm a big fan of Microsoft PowerPoint. However, since the transition from studying in physical class to the online one, Google is more popular now because all of us are now making use a lot of Google products like Google Hangout for video conferencing, Google Calendar for setting the meeting schedule and share across the organization, Google Classroom for student and teacher, Google Docs for classwork and homework, Google Key for taking note, YouTube for video, Google Drive for sharing files and more. And all of these are well linked from one to another with just your single Gmail account, which makes our communication and interaction lots easier. And in this video, I'm going to show you quickly how to make the slide presentation using the Google slide on your smartphone. And then you can submit it or share it on the Google Classroom if it is a requirement from your teacher for your speaking, like public speaking or in class presentation and so on and so forth. It just depends on your teacher. Okay, so first of all, what you have to do is to download the Google Slide from either App Store or Play Store. It is free. Then just sign in with your Gmail account and that's it. As you can see, I can. So now you have all of this set up. What you have to do is to press on plus button. You can start making your slide with some ready-made templates or start with blank slides. So for example, if I choose template, there are a bunch of ready-made slice templates for you. As you can see, all of them are under different categories. So the first category is education. So in education, you can see lesson plan, book report, field trip, flashcard, science fair, science project, student certificate. So which one you want? Moving on next is work. So all of these ready-made slides templates are in work category. As you can see, some of them are prototyping, presentation, consulting proposal, pitch, status report, case study, consulting proposal, and more. You can see personal. So just choose one that you want, which fits your preparation for your speaking. For example, if you are about to present about uh, cooking, then choose recipe book. So just tap on it. Now it's working. And get all of this so what you need to do next is just to edit the text because the text is there so you can just edit it and you can see uh, the bigger slice in the middle of your smartphone is what you can see or what your audience is going to see so in order to edit it just tap on the word that you want to edit just tap on that you can see the box have one more or double tap to edit so how to cook rice next is to understand all the features on this i've just shown you how to edit the text right so what if you want to change the font size the font styles or more how what are you gonna do well just tap on that again to make sure the box appears around the text and then you can see on the bottom here you can see b so b mean bold see letter a here i mean you can change the text color you can see that i can change the text color and this one, the next one is to fill in the color of the surrounding text. And the next is how you want your sentences or phrase to be on the left, in the center or on the right, it's up to you. This one is to fill in in the box. Yeah, you can see that, how to cook rice. And next, in order to get more features, you can tap on letter A up here. As you can see, there are three sections in this. You can see text, paragraph and shape. So now let's go with text first. At the moment, I just show you quickly how to change your word or phrases from bold to simple or from simple to bold. Now you can see more. You can see italic, underline, cross or strike out. Font styles, yeah, you can change the one that you like, okay, or the one that fits your topic, okay, that is font style. And font size, yes, you can increase it or decrease it, it's up to you, it's up to you. And text color, yeah, you can change the text color from here. Highlight color, clear formatting. Paragraph, yes, so as I mentioned earlier, you can change it, you can 
change the position of your text in the center to the left or to the right line spacing yes the space between each paragraph or from one paragraph to another if you are using paragraph uh, let me show you real quick about what i mean by spacing so as you can see here i have a paragraph here so i tap the paragraph box and i tap letter a here and then let's go to paragraph section line spacing let me increase it and now you can see from each line to another it just make more space and moving on next is the a number so you can just choose the number here you can see that each paragraph now is set with number so one two three so when i added a text i return one more it just make another point return one more it just make another point point number five yeah that's all about paragraph and moving on next is the shape when you choose shape you can see different features like fill color border color border weight border dash yeah so in here you can change different styles of the box of this paragraph for example fill color because the text is black i might fill it with red so in here as well you have two different sections you have solid and gradient so solid means single color and gradient mean the max of color so you can see here it's the max between the red and the black yeah making it looks nice right so go back and border color so what color do you like because uh, the slide as you can see the background on my slides is white so to make uh, the box appear maybe I can use black and then I can increase the size of the border and the border dash I can change different styles I might use the second one if I want to and as you can see now the box has been changed from a straight line to the dot lines and that's it and if you look on the right here you can see you can add more slide so you can choose the theme or uh, from the slide that you're using let me just add the text only and in order to add more I mean more components onto the slide you can see the plus up here so tap on the plus you can see you can insert more like comments text image shape line table and link so just for example I can add more text yes yeah, box with the box I can write add more image so I can choose from the photos which mean in my albums or from the camera just take the photo right now so, okay maybe you can add this one you can resize it tap add you can add different shapes different arrows different callouts and more tap on plus line you can even add the table columns three by three so insert a table and now you get a table Tap on the table, you can see the line here. So I can change the border of the table. Or oh, the three dots here, you can see more functions there, like change the theme. For example, if you don't like the theme and you have already completed or finished your slides, what should you do? You just change the theme, tap to this one, and now everything is changed based on your preference. It's quickly, right? Tap on the three dot and you can turn on the speaker note so when you do the presentation you can even uh, you can read your note for example on this slide what do you want to say to audience so you can note it here hi hey guys so when you uh, play the slide from here the audience cannot see your note okay only you as the speaker can see it tap on the three dot more you can see you can start a file you grid Turning on the grid just to make sure that everything you want to be in the center is in the center. So turn it off if you're ready. Details, yeah, you can check who have accessed this one. Tap on the three dots, share and export. With this Google slide, you can save it to PowerPoint slide over here, or you can just copy a link or send a copy. Send a copy to somebody, or you can share here with your friend at somebody at someone and then you can assign that person to be viewer commenter or editor so if you want to collaborate working on the slide with your friend you should assign your friend to be editor because your friend can help edit your slide on the go if you make any mistake they can edit right away but if you are sending this to someone who is going to uh, give you feedback or comment on the slide you can choose commenter or you can add that person to be a viewer just view that is pretty cool right you cannot do that on Microsoft PowerPoint unless you purchase some subscription and stuff yeah lots of things involved with payment 
Tap on the three dots again. Tap on share and export. Uh, this time, for example, if you want to copy this slide onto the Google Classroom as part of the requirement, as I mentioned earlier in this video, just tap on share the link and then tap it one more time. Share and export copy link. So the link is now copied to the clipboard. So now what you need to do next is to go to Google Classroom. And then on Google Classroom, you need to find the assigned task where your teachers want you to submit. So as you can see here, so tap on that assigned task and then tap on the up arrow and add attachment. And now you can just choose link and paste add. As you can see now, the slide has been attached, recipe book, and then turn in, tap on turn in, turn in, wait until you see the word and submit. As you can see, this means your slide has been submitted so your teachers now is able to see your slide and when you want to do the presentation you can just open it from here or from the google slide app it's up to you and then you can just do your presentation right away and when you're ready and you want to do the presentation right from your smartphone on the google slide app just tap on the play button here just tap on it and now you have multiple choices like present on this device present to chromecast present to a meeting so just choose present on this device now your slide is being shown and of course if you are using zoom you can share the screen and you can just do the presentation and if you want to get uh, the full screen of this slides presentation just rotate your phone and then you will get a full screen mode so just tap to the next slide as you can see okay guys so that pretty much it i hope you guys enjoyed the video and let me know if you have any questions in the comment down below don't forget to subscribe for more useful videos in the future and i can't wait to see you guys in the next videos thanks